Alright, so we're just going to pick this up. I didn't even notice that. Oh, Homeward Bone. I haven't used them. I don't think I will use them. I'm not sure. Um, I'm glad that thing's dead because it's a real sort of problem to deal with. I know that for a fact. Um, I also know that you can chop away this stuff. Does it net us an item? No, it just cleans up the fire. Okay. Waste of time. Who knows? Large club. Where's this? Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck going back down there. I wonder if there's anything over this way. I don't think there is. No, not at all. I'm almost certain there's some uh, of those weird caster enemies up there. And that's a real problem. Because I've got to go up there. No, that's not going to do anything. However, I do notice that there is a body here. With an item hanging from it. So let's chop this one. Get a pale tongue. Nice. There's another item in that body. Northern gear. Whether that's important, good or not, I have no fucking idea. And I don't really care, I guess. Alright, so this is the sort of area we do have to be very, very, very careful. Because those things will fall down when I grab this, I think. Oh, never mind, I lied. Alright. I'm actually going to try and play this one like hella smart. Because I know. Am I right or am I wrong? That's well, not what I thought would happen. Go for that. I, was, I thought that there were those, um, channelers here. Those weird... things? I'm not even interested in killing those... sort of torture device... beings. Uh, I don't care. Oh yeah, there is one. I know it. There's two? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. See, look at that. Fucking smart. What the hell? Thanks, FromSoft. <laughs> fucking hell. I just got pimp smacked through a fucking wall, man. What is that shit? Yeah, whatever. Okay, this is going to be really iffy. So why am I need a homeward bone? Oh, I just picked up two, speaking of the devils, but uh, no, 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 I mean... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Oh! Cool, I'll get the mirror set, but that is what I pretty much wanted. That is worth getting rid of the Carvatus Serpent Ring. Um, having inc permanently increased stamina regeneration is like a staple within this game. Um, and then we don't need to stick around here to really at all because look at all those things like we got to run through them all again and we wind back up at uh, Zigward so this gives me a chance to homeward bone where would that put me that would put me 
Actually, where would that put me? Let's go last rest of that. I have to go to the... Oh, is it the bridge? Did I last rest at the bridge? I think I did. I think I did. Oh, no, I lied. Alright, so I gotta go to the bridge. Uh, travel, dilapidated bridge. <sighs> so I'm heading to the dilapidated bridge so I can um, go, like, collect all of that crap. That's pretty much the only reason why I'm here. So I'm going to collect all of that shit. And then I'm going to make my way to the next sort of bonfire. Which is a real sort of risky run. So I can stand here. He's never going to hit me. He's always going to hit these things. So where's the arrow? There it is. Boom. Alright, so we're going to bait these guys out. I'm actually going to pick up a few things. And even if it's near me, it won't actually hurt. So he'll he'll hit those things in the door, I think. Cool. So I killed four of them. That's incredible. Now he's just going to kill Mallet, man. Just... Alright, I'll pretend that I didn't see you miss. Cool. So I can pick up all of these branches here. All of these items. And I definitely want to run and jump onto this little island here. For an important item, an undead bone shard. This is exactly what I want. Holy fuck, it has been ages. And I am super happy to, to see my first one. I'm actually going to pick that up in a second. Um, and you'll see why. But I just want to quickly have a look around here to see if I've not missed something. I don't think so. Got the ashes, yeah, alright. So I'm going to equip another Homeward Bone. Even though I won't need it just yet. Yep. Nice pitchfall. I made it annoying to see, but whatever. It died. here pick up a scythe great scythe i lied um and then i'm actually just gonna homeward bone again and head back to that little settlement sort of under the, the the house that i was at before where i kind of climbed up onto the roof <clears throat> what's it called cliff underside that's the one Quite a bit of scary shit sort of coming up. Um, that's the front way. I'm heading out the back way here, as I was before. Uh, heading down into this area and just sort of waiting for that bridge to clear once more. I do have to go back through those that door. See, he is shooting, but what's he shooting at? Is he going to shoot again? Yep, he is. Okay, well, he didn't loose an arrow at all, so I assume it's just there for immersion and effects. Um, Alright, well, it looks like there's one lantern guy there, which is a pain in the fucking ass. But I've actually got to run by those, those dudes once more. Maybe I can hit him with a fireball. Sort of lure him. Yep. Nope, I lied. Yep, got him. Oh my fucking god. Like Hawkeye. I'm actually going to equip the Homeward Bone. And the reason why I'm equipping the Homeward Bone is... 
If I get into a pickle, I can just mash it. So, this should go down. Oh shit, this is the one that goes up! Okay, well that's annoying. At least it gives the um, enemies down there a chance to sort of leave. Look at that. So, oh, jeez. So I need to go down. Down is where, where uh, I need to head. So I'm actually just going to activate this. I'll just wait for this to come back up. And then I get to head down. I will point out that um, as I'm thinking forward in the game and what's coming up and what I've got to do, I'm very much reminded of the fact that running past a lot of these enemies isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I don't want to do it. I kind of want to kill as many things as possible, but, you know, I take what I can get. So, actually going to grab this, which baits that out, and I'm going to run... Open these doors. And just fucking roll. Roll, 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 roll. And I'm going to light this bonfire. Because I don't believe this enemy is programmed to get through that door. So we can actually just sort of... Abuse it. <laughs> and we pick up his straight sword. Which I probably can't use. I can use it! I'm using it for now. Look at that. Some say I'm a pyromancer. Others say I use ice. I don't know. Actually, no one says that. Alright, um, now we have unlocked the Road of Sacrifices. So this is quite a weird sort of path forward. But I'm going to take this time to sort of spend the rest of the part just catching up on some stuff. I'm going to hand in the ashes. I'm going to upgrade my Estus Flask using that Sublime Bone Dust. Um, so the way we do that is we burn the Undead Bone Shard. Sorry, that's the one, not the Sublime Bone Dust. And it actually increases our Estus Flask charge by one. That also um, is effective for the Ashen Estus Flask as well. So now that will heal us, or that will restore more mana. Um, we can talk to this guy. Asking us. To seek the law, the talking true legend. Now he's still saying the same shit that he did before, so I don't really. I ain't stressing. I'm gonna hand the ashes to this lady. Oh, how may I? Gracious. Let this. I only hope the. <laughs> so let's see what sort of stuff she has. So she sells more embers. Uh, she sells a human pine resin, which applies dark, dried fingers, a soapstone. Um, so we can unlimited homeward bones. So if I want to buy 20, I can only one of these those she sells some uh, Spells which are of no use to me a scimitar don't care torch. I Might have to pick the torch up A grave key. Oh Definitely worth doing I might hold that off for now though and Some chain gear no Oh, okay, that just organizes it. Wait, what the fuck was that? That was all 20 grand, I forgot. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't really care. Probably worthwhile in the future. Let's see what we can sell. I'm not going to sell the Sig Brow because it restores all your HP. Definitely good in a pinch. What I will sell... 2,000 for Vort Soul... I don't know how much of what soul is in general. I'm keeping the fire gems for sure. Broken straight sword. I already have a hand axe. So I'm going to get rid of one of those. I don't need to worry. I already got one of those, so I don't need another one. I already got one of those. Alright, that should be okay. 
Welcome, host. Very well, then take me. All right. Um. Oh, still, that's fine. I'm getting up there, though. So the beautiful thing is, the sword that I guess I'm aiming for is this Lothric one here. I'm not quite sure what it's like. I think it's, the critical is pretty high on it, actually. The critical is higher on the male break, but that's because it's a thrust, a slash thrust. But it's also like a, um, what the fuck do you want to call it? I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Some, it's a something. There you go. This is pretty good. The physical power is okay. Um does frost damage which which helps i suppose but i guess the benefit of this sword is what can i apply fire to this i don't know if i can i could probably apply fire to this also it scales better with dexterity because it's a higher dex base requirement i'm not going to ignore dexterity or am i and i've just been wasting my time no, 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 no. Okay. Let's map this out. Map it out. Alright. Um, no. Uh, there's, isn't there a button I can... Nope. Isn't there a button I can press that's like... Yeah, no, 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 Fucking... Help. Which is help. Hey! Okay, governs resistance to frost. Sure. Oh, I do need attunement for sure. I'm probably hoping for 20 Vigor, 20 Attunement, 15 Endurance, Leave Vitality, maybe 20 Strength, or more Strength, 25 Strength, 18 Dex, 20, 20. So what's that? 6, 6, 2, that's 14, 16, 21, 29... 34, that gets me to 69. Oh, I'll easily be able to achieve that. Alright, so what is... Okay, hang on. Our pyromancy is affected by both faith and intelligence. So I need to level them up. What's luck? Oh, fuck luck. Who gives a shit? Right. Okay. Reduces spell casting time. Okay, so dexterity is not necessarily a bad thing. So 18 is actually pretty good. F fire resistance. I thought that was fire damage. Oops, my bad. I don't care about poison resistance. See, the thing is like... Fire resistance is... Hmm... Probably more handy than poison resistance because you can just do something that. Because you can just do something that. What am I trying to say? It gets rid of poison. Um, so I think I'm heading in the right direction. I need another 12,000. 1,200. About another 10k souls probably until I can level up all right um yeah i don't think i need to do anything else at the moment i think i can leave it at that oh god the forgotten road that's gonna be a pain in the ass or oh, the road of sacrifices my bad 